Remember when I started the Dennis Hauger video by saying he was my first motorsport crush? Well, I can't say that about my current motorsport crush. Why? Because it would be pedophilia in some countries. I'm sorry, friends. Thankfully, he's in Australia now. I'm in Belgium. I couldn't break the law even if I wanted to. But who am I talking about? Obviously, it's in the title. So let's talk about Oli Berman, or if I may, Oli Bierman. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, you're watching Candela's content. My name is Lila. I'm going to leave a button like unopened like this, like he does. Obviously, he wears an adult size and I wear a kid size because I have a surprisingly small torso. Also, I'm the adult and he's the kid, technically, so weird. Also, on Formula 2 page, it says that he's about my height which is hard to believe because he is taller than 183 centimeter tall Frederick Vesti, which would mean that he grew like 10 centimeters in a year. Also, he's British. And I'll last talk about his racing career because he is one of the most exciting talents in formulas. In 2020, he was set to race for another year in karting, but because the pandemic hit, he turned 15 before the season started, so he was eligible to compete in the ADAC and the Italian Formula 4 Championship. He finished 7th in the German Championship and 10th in the Italian one, which is pretty big because he only competed in 3 out of 7 rounds. And because he finished 7 out of 8 times in the points and he even picked up a race win, he finished above a lot of people who competed in all rounds. In the next year, he returned to both championships and ended up winning both of them, becoming the first ever driver to do so. He also competed in the GB3 championship for a few rounds, where he picked up 3 podiums and an additional race win. So because of this extremely successful year, he was able to skip Formula Regional and go to Formula 3 straight away. He had kind of a difficult start to the season because even though he crossed the finish line first, he got a 5 second penalty and got down to second. And after that, things went pretty downhill for him because he went on to a streak with no points. But at the end of the season, he finished third in the standings and picked up 8 podiums in total, which is most of any drivers in 2022. But there's an other record to his name, and that is that he was the closest to a race ban, which means he was the driver with the most penalty points. This year, Oli is continuing with Prema, Prema, and he graduated to Formula 2, where he had also a difficult start. Which is kind of sad because I am really, really rooting for him. I even said he could be a championship contender, and like... Come on, Oli, get it together. I mean, my predictions. Oli grew up around motorsport because his father, his uncle, and also his grandfather participated in different motorsport races, but that didn't stop her mother from being extremely worried for him, which is actually pretty nice. I mean, oh Lord, take this pain away somehow. Also, in the video where I talked about Ferrari Academy members, I put him in a D tier, which I kind of regret now. And not only because he had an extreme blow up, which I completely missed. I mean, come on. He left Prama looking like a 14 year old and he came back like, well, actually a decent 17 year old, but that's his age. So thankfully, he's finally looking like it. But also, he is extremely funny. I mean, come on and i'm saying this to me for not realizing because he is just that kind of person who is unnoticeably funny i mean you say that about people that oh yeah they kind of funny they blah, 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 but only is really 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 funny i mean i think you got the point if not um all i wanted to say is Oli Berman is funny got it also he uses mega a lot mega race mega track mega weekend why it's like me with obviously <sighs> but also he's kind of a sadist yes i said it i said that he would basically organize a race in the worst ever conditions 35 degrees in the sun and i quote give them the hottest conditions it's more fun like that and that came out of his mouth i mean come on that is cruel ollie 
also he's like really really confident in himself i mean he clearly knows what he's talking about but still it can come off as kind of an egoistic person which i don't mind but at least he wouldn't name a track after himself so he still got his feet on the ground also i promise that when i talk about a racing driver i wouldn't bring their relationships up but i just have to mention this about oliverman because he has this really dramatic on and off situation going on with his trainer and pizza oh my god i love pizza i hate pizza i love pizza i hate pizza <laughs> all right I take notes like for every video I make it's really really messy I wrote he hit his race engineer is this true I mean it was probably in one of the promo videos but this way I can say I started the video by saying he's cute and funny and he's my crush and I ended it by saying he's a sadist and he's abusive I think this video went downhill pretty quickly Thank you guys for watching this video. The end is really, really messy, so just bye. Cause without you, it's worse. Trust me, little baby, I just want to be heard. Lie to me and say that you are better now. That you are better now. Sing about every skull, every skull. Also, there is no monster war because. <laughs> Yeah.